from the beginning of the season when we, we got beat by over 100 points in one game. You can tell now after the Christmas break we came back and gelled as a team together and that just shows on the scorecard tonight. Every team, every person on the team has put something on the scorecard, something on the stats, rebounds, assists. That's helped the team out very well. So would you say tonight it was the first time it's clicked for you guys this season? Then? In the Box League, yeah, we've had a couple of good games recently in the local league, but it's good to see it finally transfer into the University League like that. And uh, I say we, we talked about before, but Leeds met obviously above you, so how does that feel to beat a team that's I say, ranked higher? Well, hopefully it will carry on into the next match, because next we've got York, who the first game of the season to beat the team by about 70 points. So if we can beat the team that's a league above us, this should, the next game should be nothing for us. OK, and obviously towards the end of the game, Leeds and discipline, they were down to three players. How difficult is it not to get complacent in that final stages? Though? Well, I think it showed we did get complacent. We took a couple of three pointers over a team of three players that didn't need to be. It should be a case of walking the ball up to the hoop. But hopefully that's something we'll work on in training and we'll talk about now before we go back because it's just something to get out of the habit of learning to close down games rather than just getting cocky. That's a great start to the year for you, so you can leave almost up or so for Oh yeah, yeah, I mean Leeds Carnegie, fantastic, probably one of the best basketball programmes in the country. Some very good quality playing today and our guys showed them that, you know, that they're not that far behind at all, really. How, uh, towards the end of the game, obviously Leeds went down to sort of three players and that, and how frustrating was it to see or trying to see your guys a little bit of showboating here and there? You really want them to see out the see out the win. Were you nervous at all? Um, yeah, you're always nervous when win that. You don't want to you don't want to be a coach that's um, sort of lost the game against three guys, um, but they'll suffer for that in training. <laughs> don't worry about that. That they need to they need to close games out earlier earlier on. But today they showed a lot of guts and a lot of depth um, amongst themselves. So yeah. And I guess the fact that Sunderland kept their discipline, obviously, and it obviously helped them to win the match. So you've got to be pleased from that side of thing as well. Today. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, they've been working on, um, you know, the closing out games, keeping their heads, uh, you know, under pressure. I mean, you know, we went, I think we went about 15 points down at the beginning. You know, they could they could have just crumbled. They showed great character coming back, fought all the way, and then they took you know they took the lead. I think um, early in the th uh, fourth quarter and didn't look back really. 